In this shoemaking tutorial, I am gonna talk with you about shoe soles, shoe bottoms. Today, I will show you three top materials that are easiest to work with and it's very easy to source all these materials. And the great thing about these materials that you can create any shoe sole working with any shoe last type, meaning that you can make any footwear type. So, let's get started. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Before we're gonna start, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So, let's move on. The first material that you can use to create any shoe sole is cork. It's actually not the shoe sole, it's the bottom construction, okay, for your shoes. So, from cork you can create wedge with any height, platform or wedge with lower heel, like here I did in my wedge sandals course, okay? So, you can create cork and leave it as it is, like here, you see, with a natural look. Or you can cover it with leather, like we did in my wedge course. What is important here is to work with the right width of the cork, because it comes with different widths. And the best one is this one with a thickness of 3 mm, or a little bit thicker with a thickness of 7 mm, okay? why this thickness is uh, the best one because if you will have cork that will be wider it can break during work when you have cork with this thickness it's thick enough to create wedge with high heel with high platform and in the same time it's very flexible you see and you can cover the bottom of your shoes in all places that it has curved surface okay so this cork with the width, with the width of seven millimeters on this one that I have in my tools kit. How you can work with this excellent material, and why actually uh, you can create this type of of the shoe bottom working with any shoe last to create any footwear type, because. What you need to do is simply attach this sheet of the cork with the with a needed shape layer by layer to the bottom of your shoes to create this wedge platform or um, bigger platform so in uh, to create this wedge cork you need to calculate the heel height and make it with the same heel height or higher for example this shoe lies with the heel height of four centimeters without the platform with the platform that I created here, the height of this footwear that I will make working with this shoelace and with this wedge cork will be 5 cm. But it could be higher, 6, 7, 8, 10 cm. Like we did here, for example. You see it's very high here. And you can create this type of uh, shoe bottom to the sandals or uh, to create sandals or create Oxford shoes, palm shoes, uh, boots, any footwear type working with this material and simple rasp. Second type of the shoe sole that you can create with any footwear type is shoe sole made from ever foam. Like this one that we made in my sneakers course. In this course I teach how to create shoe sole working with ever and also I teach how to make Vans sneakers. But because not everyone can find the proper Vans soles for, uh, for the shoelace that you have, it's better to work with foam to create your sneakers with any height of the shoe sole. Like here we did with the height of 2 cm and it can be higher or lower, okay? And with foam you can create any shape of your shoe sole. For example, here we added weld, but it could be also without weld, or you can create with, the, with this ever form, you also can create platform like I did here, okay? So the possibilities 
is really unlimited and because with the rubber soles you need to have the exact sole that will match your shoe last with the ever form you can create any shoe sole for any shoe last that you have it depends only on the design of your shoe sole how you want to see it and like i showed you here here is with weld like this weld and it also could be without weld with flat shoe sole with flat surface without any weld what i love in this material like in the cork uh, like cork material it's also very soft and it's very easy to work with you can cut it very easily you don't need to have here any um, special tools to create your shoe soles and the ever form comes with different width for example this ever form is a little bit thick it's approximately 1.5 centimeters and if you will want to create a platform with working with ever form it's better to have thinner uh, form uh, like I explained in the previous my, when I uh, when I explained you how to build platform from cork I explained that uh, it must be not too thick same thing here is it will be if it will be too thick it's very difficult to bend it and create the shape of the shoe button that we have here with this all these curves okay so if you will want to create platform with foam ever foam choose thickness of the foam of uh, five seven millimeters okay so it also comes with different colors and is with different uh, finishing for example this one you see also has finishing like shoe bottom has you see so if you will work with ever foam like this you don't need to attach here any shoe bottom if you will work with flat ever form to create shoe bottom because we, without the shoe bottom it will ruin very fast during walking so to protect it we can attach here this uh, uh, rubber bottom okay or leather leather also is good option for example in the in the wedge cork i attached here to the bottom sole made from leather okay because i love leather so this is the second material ever form that you can work with and uh, use it in any shoe last for sandals for boots for oxford shoes for pumps anywhere and sneakers of course third type of the shoe sole is shoe sole made from vegetable tan leather and actually it's my favorite one of my favorite uh, materials to work with because working with vegetable tan leather you can create any finishing any type of finishing you can color it you can leave it with a natural look you can wax it you can polish it whatever you want you can do it with leather with this material leather vegetable tan leather and for the shoe sole i use vegetable tan leather with thickness of four millimeters and uh, when you create elegant woman shoes all, all you need to do is to scythe the edges to create this elegant look with the thin edge okay so why i love this material so much first is it has very beautiful look that you can change according to the design your desired wishes what i mean for example in this sandal my sandal course we create finishing like this that looks like sweat leather in this elegant shoes i wax it so it has this shiny polished look in the oxford course we made finishing like this so you have here in uh, unlimited possibilities or for example in this moccasins in my moccasin course i created here double shoe sole okay so you see here you have unlimited possibilities even for example if you want uh, create if you want to create heels you can create wedge heel like we did in my oxford shoes what we made here we built this heel layer by layer wedge heel layer by layer and then we made also the shoe sole from leather that we attach to entire shoe bottom including the wedge heel okay now 
with the leather sole, unlike uh, cork or foam, you can create elegant women's shoes. For example, in this uh, sling bag pumps, I have this elegant shoe sole that covers the entire bottom, including the heels, that makes it very elegant. You can do it with ever foam or cork. You can do it only with leather, leather soles. Okay, and that's why I love this material the most. Here, for example, what is different in these sandals is the finishing of the sole that combines with the insole. Yes, here insole made also from leather. And you see the finishing of the sole and you see how it covers perfectly the shoe bottom. It's because that we shape the shoe sole apart we shaped it, we finished the edge, and then we attached, already finished with the right shape sole to the lasted sandals. This is how actually we work when we have ready-made soles, like this one, okay? So this is uh, the possibility that you have working with leather. You can create any finishing, any shape. If you're just getting started making your shoes or planning a small production, you have a big problem with ready-made soles like this one. And I already talked about it in other videos that you should never buy ready-made soles separately from the shoe last because they must match perfectly. The shoe sole must match your shoeless perfectly. And the problem is that it's very difficult to buy ready-made soles in small quantities, like two, three pairs, or at least you will buy it with high price. So the solution for you is to work with these three materials, cork, ever foam, and vegetable tan leather. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!